And this next question will determine the inverse of the function f of x equals 2 bracket x minus 1 quantity squared plus 4 algebraically. Graph the function and its inverse, then we'll state the domain and range of both. Well, we start by letting y be equal to f of x. So instead of writing f of x equals 2 bracket x minus 1 squared plus 4, we say y is 2 bracket x minus 1 squared plus 4. We switch x and y, of course we include a let statement to let the reader know there's been a fundamental change. So we let x equal to y minus 1 squared plus 4. We're now going to solve for y. We remember our order of operations. We subtract 4 first, then we divide both sides by 2. Then we take the positive and negative square root of uh, the left hand side and the right hand side. We then add 1 to both sides and we remember that y is f of x, or sorry, f inverse of x. So we can say that f inverse of x equals plus or minus the quantity x minus 4 all over 2 uh, and then plus 1. So we'd like to graph those curves and it might be tough on first glance to graph that the square root function but uh, the parabola is perhaps a little more straightforward it has a vertex at 1 4 and it opens upwards and then we realize well all we really have is a reflection in the line y equals x we can do that we simply reflect this over to here and uh, we've got it we have a vertex at 4 1 instead of opening to ever increasing values of y which is up we in open to ever increasing values of x which is to the right. And so uh, we might be glad on first glance that we had that image to work from, but then we realize that using our work in transformations we could have done this. We could have graphed this uh, green curve as well. Plus or minus uh, x, the square root of x minus 4 over 2 is just the same as plus or minus 1 half bracket x minus 4 plus 2, uh, which is two different curves as stated there. The positive and the negative, uh, I apologize here, but this square root should not extend over that plus one. That plus one should not be underneath the square root. And so what we have here is an a value of one, k of a half, d of four, c of one, or an a value of negative one, k of a half, d of four, c of one. And using that information, we could just as easily have graphed that curve. We then proceed to the last page and we see that the domain of the original is x element of the reals and the range is y greater than or equal to 4 as indicated on that blue curve and the range uh, the domain of the inverse is x greater than or equal to 4 and the range of the inverse is y element of the reals as we see here and we note again that the domain of the original function should correspond exactly to the range of the inverse and the range of the original function should correspond exactly to the domain of the inverse.